our Python code functions as follows. The user is prompted to enter a card number. Upon inputting the number, the code in the background checks the length, the card number prefix and whether the input is in integers. If a condition is not met, a relevant error message appears. If all conditions are met, then the code runs a loons algorithm. If the algorithm comes true, then it concludes the card number is valid. In other case, it is invalid. Our group had a few iterations over the code. The original version worked, but it was not efficient and had mistakes. Because of it, we changed it up and made the newest version. In this one, we have four predefined functions. One checks to see if the starting input character is correct according to Lun's formula. The second one checks if the input is of the correct length. The third one if the input is an actual integer. And the fourth one checks all the previous ones and returns a boolean. The code itself starts by checking all previous functions. Should any fail, it will exit and close the program. After checking, the code proceeds to calculate Lun's formula utilizing two while loops. One for characters in even indexes and one for odds. After finalizing the formula, we check if the final variable is divisible by 10, and thus we print whether the number is a valid or invalid card number. During the development process, we faced two problems. The first one was how to perform the input validation and stop the program as soon as the first check failed. In the first version of the program, we imported the system module and called the system exit function in each validation function in order to immediately consider the input invalid and avoid the execution of other functions. This option requires to import an external module and to add unnecessary repetitive code. In the second version of the code, we structured the logic in a way that the checks are only performed if the previous function returned true. We used to divide the problem into several sub-problems or step solution strategy to divide the code into several chunks. As the conditions are related by an end relation, if a test fails, the following conditions are not evaluated and false is immediately returned. First comes the validation functions. If they are all true, then and only then the learn algorithm is executed. This option allows for a more readable and straightforward logic while maintaining the desired behavior. Only continue executing validation functions if no previous check failed. The second problem we encountered was how to check if the input string only contained numeric digits. In the first version of the code, we thought about checking if every character belongs to an allowed list of characters. This option resulted in implementation of yet another cycle. In the second version of the code, we tried to cast the input string into an integer. In case the casting fails and an exception is raised, we assume the input is not an integer. We've chosen to go with option 2, as it is more efficient and does not require adding another cycle into the code. I'll talk about the flowchart process. To start the process, the program will require an input. In this case, the input is the user's card number. If the input is right, the program will continue the process. If not, the program will print relevant error and exit. The next step will be a learn check, check performed on the input. This means it will find out whether the input is divisible by 10, thus making the program valid. If it is not divisible by 10, it will show the program is invalid. That's it for now and thanks for watching.